Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we can be able to generate Django models from an existing database. Right here, I have my PHP my admin that's going to allow us to create a MySQL database. So we're going to be creating a simple MySQL database, but this also works for complex database types as we're going to be able to see. So our goal for this video is actually to get database models or Python classes defining how our database is and basically generating them from an existing mysql database so now i'm going to go to the sql part right here i'm on my home page and what i'll do is to create a simple mysql database so i'm going to go ahead and write a statement for creating the database or what i'll have to do is actually create a new database so i'm just going to create this database and call it sample database and right after creating this sample database i'm going to click create so our database has been created we can be able to create some tables now what i'm going to do is to go to the sql part right here you can also use the terminal but i'm using it for i'm using the GUI just for simplicity so i'm just going to come right here and all i'll do is to create a table and let's say this table is going to be a uh, grades so let's say we are storing student grades now this table is going to have the following column so we're going to have an id column it's going to be an integer then we're also going to have a so let's say we're keeping grades for the first examination, which is exam one, and this is actually also going to be an integer. Now we can also have exam two, and this will also be an integer, so I'll just keep it one integer. Now let's say we also have exam three, and this exam is, is actually going to be for an integer as well. Now we can conclude by just saying that this table is going to be, actually it will have a primary key and this primary key in this case is going to be the ID column. So after doing this, you can just simply close our SQL and I can come to the bottom right here and say go. This will go ahead and generate the table just like we've been able to generate it right here. Now, if we want this table as a database model, all we'll have to do is to connect to this specific MySQL uh, MySQL database and after creating, uh, connecting to it, then we can use Django's management command to help us to generate this as a Django database model. So what I'm going to do is to head over right here. So I have a blank empty folder from where I'm going to create our Django project. I'll pull up our terminal right here and then I'm going to go ahead and create a new Django project. So I'll begin by creating a virtual environment. Oh, sorry. So this will be Python 3 minus m then shall call our virtual m and then we can we can call our virtual environment env so this will go ahead and create our virtual environment it's actually python because i'm on windows do not install python 3 so it's going to go ahead and create our virtual environment so right after I use, uh, after creating our virtual environment i'm going to go ahead and what i'll do in this case is to activate this virtual environment with source env then in this case we're going to actually have scripts and then i'll call the activate script so this is going to activate the virtual environment i'll go ahead and install django and after installing django we're going to go ahead and create our project as well as the small app that we're going to have it's not going to be a complete app that we're going to be able to investigate how we can generate its models from an existing database. Now, the reason as to why we may need our database models, even when we have an existing database table, is because Django uh, works with the ORM in order to abstract for us things like how we query the database and those complex stuff that we may be needing that's saving us from writing uh, raw SQL statements. So in case you have an existing Postgres database that you may want to plug into your Django application, this method can be useful as we're going to be able to see. Now that our Django has been installed, I am going to go ahead and create our Django project. So I'll be, do that with Django admin. So we're going to call our Django admin, but in this case it will be Django admin.exe since we're on Windows. And then what I have to do is to create the project by start project and we shall call our project simple so i'm just going to call it simple project then i'll specify that we want to create it in our main folder so we don't need to create another simple project folder now right in here i'm going to begin by also creating a python app that's going to actually be a django app that's going to be attached to our main project folder so i'll just come and say uh, python 3 
we can even use Django admin so I can say Django admin and I'll call uh, start up and in this case we shall say that we're going to be create an app for grades now since we have this app now we're going to start by registering it within our apps so I'll just come within our apps and then I'll have to copy the config so I'm just going to come and copy the grades config class and after copying this grades config class I am going to go ahead and register this within our installed apps in our settings.py so we shall look for the installed apps list which is here now we're going to access the config by saying that our app is going to be the grades app and then all I have to access is the apps module so what I have to do is to go right here and say grades dot apps and then dot then you copy in the grades config I'm going to go ahead and save that so right now we shall also have to change the way we are connecting to our database now when connecting to MySQL we use a backend that's not the one that comes within Django by default Django allows us to connect to our database as a is that as an SQLite database so I'm going to go to the database settings right here and all I have is the default dictionary that contains the engine now we're going to change this engine to the MySQL engine so I'll come right here and then I'll change this to db.backends.mysql now I also have to change the name of our database so I'm going to come right here and I'll have to change the name so our database in this case so we'll go back to our to our PHP my admin we call it our sample database so I'm going to simply call this our sample database and then we are going to specify credentials such as the user who we're going to use to access that database so our user in this case is going to be our so by default it comes with a root user but I also have a user but let me use the root user so I'm going to create a user of root and we also need to provide the password of that user so the root user comes with a blank password so just going to come and say password but please provide your database credentials or your connection password so the password is an empty string by default and now we're going to also provide the host so our host in this case is going to be our local host just going to come and provide the host and this host is going to be our local host but you can provide the IP address of our local host as 127.0.0 .0 .0 and then dot one now also going to go ahead and I think this is all we provided the username the host the password as well as the name of the user so what you're going to go ahead and do is to also specify how we're going to connect to our database now remember when you're connecting to databases such as PostgreSQL and MySQL we always need a driver to connect to that now in this video we're going to be using PyMySQL that's going to allow us to connect to our existing MySQL database so I'm going to pull up my terminal right here and all I have to do is pip install and this will be PyMySQL SQL so this is going to go ahead and install our PyMySQL and after installing our PyMySQL we're going to be able to make sure that we make our driver installed within our app so what I'm going to do is to go to the top of our code and I'll begin by importing our PyMySQL and then I'll come right here and all I have to do is to call a function so I'll call it from anywhere I can just come right here but what I have to do is to actually come next to our database settings and all I have to do is to install our PyMySQL as MySQL DB so I'll just come and say PyMySQL dot install as MySQL DB so I'll call this function and after doing that then we'll have installed the appropriate driver to connect to our MySQL database now let's go ahead and be able to generate our database so I'm going to try to run our server to see if our server is actually running so I'm just going to come right here and all I have to do is to say python 3 manage.py and then run server so right now it's actually going to be python I don't know why I keep forgetting it so if, the, if this runs our server then we don't have any errors now what I'll do in this case is to go ahead and run our python3 money.py migrate so actually before I do that I'll have to do python3 
money.py and then inspect db. So the inspect db command is the one that's going to allow us to generate the appropriate database model classes from our existing database table. Now I'm just going to come and run this command and it's actually going to be python money.py. I don't know why I keep repeating python3. So right now we see that it has actually seen all the columns we've created for our database table and it's generating for us as a class. Now when we want to generate this in our models for our specific app, we'll just have to point this command to our models file. So within our grids folder right here or our grids app, we have a models.py file which doesn't have anything for now. But what you want to do is to populate that with the existing model classes or our model classes that we're actually going to generate. Now what I'm going to do is to pull up our terminal and then I have to point to grids. And in this case I'll point to slash models then dot py and when I press enter this will generate our model classes and use them within our tables. So right now we have been successful in generating our grids and our grids are actually generated from an existing database table. So what I'm going to do is to save this and when I save this, I'm going to go ahead and migrate our remaining Django specific models or our Django specific tables by using Python 3 money.py and then you can go ahead and say migrate. It's actually going to be Python. So this will go ahead and basically generate all the tables specific to Django that within our existing database. And now our tables have been generated, so I'll run our server with python3 money.py and then run server. It's actually going to be python. I don't know why I keep forgetting it. And this is actually going to run our server so we don't have any issues. Now what I have to do is to go back right here. And now if we go to our sample database right now, we're going to see that we have all the tables, including that that was existing, as well as those that are specific to Django. I hope you've learned from this video as we've been able to generate our database models from an existing MySQL database. But this method can be used for other database types such as PostgreSQL and, and <coughs> as well as SQLite.